every Tuesday but this upload is talk with me Tuesday I already know every last Tuesday of the month I always have a topic or something something that I want to be able to talk about with you guys but this talk with me Tuesday I'm doing an interview of my sister hi Taylor what's up guys yes so um you already know that one of the things that I did mention that I do on here is I like to show support. I like to support my, all my brothers and sisters in Christ the, in, in any way that I can. But in the way that I do it is I do an interview. So if I know they, that they have something going on, whether it's a business, you know, a gift, whatever, whatsoever it is, I like to do interviews with them so they could talk about themselves and, you know, gain some type of exposure, you know. Yay. So that's what we're doing today. And we're interviewing my sister over here. Yes, you already know what it is. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself, sis. Well, guys, I am 23 years old. That's number one. Mm -hmm. And I am just... <laughs> um, okay. Well, I, grew, I basically grew up here in Georgia. And um, I'm currently unemployed, but I just graduated from school. Yes. Awesome. Congratulations. I am unemployed, but I am self-employed. So mm -hmm. I guess we're going to get into that a little bit. No so, yeah. Okay, so... What is Taylor's Voyage? Okay, so I have a website called taylorsvoyage.com mm -hmm. and basically it's all about kind of like my voyage but other people's as well. Mm -hmm. So I, what I am trying to encourage is for other people to share their story and be uniquely themselves and mm -hmm. authentic to them. And basically it's, when I, like when you go on my website, you'll mm -hmm. see different pictures of me being out outside in nature and you'll Gotta see love nature girl i love nature <laughs> I love, I love it too. and just um just sharing my journey with god mm -hmm. and uh how much i'm growing with with him and um yeah <laughs> and also um you'll see my creativity mm -hmm. like you'll see just the different things that i like to do like uh, well, I guess we're going to get into that yeah, course, too, but yeah. um, you'll see like how I like to make vlogs and edit, mm -hmm. and if you don't mind, y'all can come to my channel too. Mm -hmm. Thank you so yeah, much. I'm so proud of you. I just don't, <laughs> don't understand how proud I, how proud I am. For it. Yes. But yes, you guys mm -hmm. can like if you want to, you can come to my channel, um, Taylor's Voyage. So mm -hmm. yeah, which I'm gonna go ahead and have down uh, down below. You know, so I will either <laughs> have it up on the video. Uh, no, both. I'll put it up on the video, and then I also have it included. Down down below okay so y'all make sure y'all visit else i will find y'all yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so since what is wild collections and where can you find wild collections shop so wild collections is my sticker shop and it is on my website taylor's voyage mm -hmm. and um basically this sticker shop is all about uh just all about the wild it's all mm -hmm. about like um just ah, Okay, let me think. Okay, <laughs> sorry. It's, a, it's fine, girl. Um, we have those uh, moments. <laughs> um, eh, hmm. Okay, well, Wild Collections mm -hmm. is my sticker shop, yes. Mm -hmm. But it is also um, a part, a way for me to spread the word, the gospel. It's mm -hmm. a way for me to reach out to other people, and they can get inspired to get out into nature and... Um, just kind of learn from the world around them and it, it's really meant to promote just to live a healthier life mm -hmm. and i really like wild collections because you can pretty much use it for anything that you want to and <laughs> uh yeah so, it's really yeah. dope. I, I've seen the stickers myself, y'all. It's so cute. And it definitely does remind you of God. Because literally, once you start growing in God, you will notice God in literally everything. Especially nature. That's why I love her business so much. Because <laughs> literally, if you just step outside, something as simple as just looking at the tree, you just know that it's God. Because one yeah. of the things I even experienced with, um, as far as, you know, the trees, just to yeah. go talk about the trees. If you notice every every season, you notice 
the trees they would change color at the time that it's supposed to yeah. at the colors that it's supposed to and you're like yo as a matter of fact nature is so much more obedient to yes. Christ than us that I mean so and it's good. so and it's such a beautiful thing it really is yes. but yeah go ahead and like I, I, I love that too. Like mm-hmm. I love that so much. Just even looking at the trees, mm-hmm. you can also see the purpose that God has for that tree. Exactly. Not only are are the trees used for um just to help the animals mm-hmm. and to supply, you know, food for them and shelter. Exactly. But it also supplies shelter for us mm-hmm. and we use it in our everyday lives like paper exactly. and toilet Come paper. On. Like, you know, <laughs> so we use it too. And mm-hmm. so um you can see how purpose God mm-hmm. has for that, like how much purpose God has for that tree mm-hmm. but you also can like look at yourself and say well I'm just as perfect exactly as that. So, something as simple as a tree if tree if a tree has that much purpose <laughs> what about you right what about us <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying but yeah um so how do you make you say you have stickers you have the wild collection of stickers <laughs> you guys yeah. so how do you make your stickers and how can your stickers be used so I print them out, y'all. I am a <laughs> I am a sucker for cheap supplies, but these are not cheap. Like mm-hmm. these are, I am completely using just and basically investing in good quality stuff. Mm-hmm. So these are uh, um, <laughs> good quality, good quality. Right, right, right. <laughs> so how I make them is I I really go out first of all I go out into nature Mm -hmm. and I look around me and see different things and pretty much like in my head I'll take a picture of what I see Mm -hmm. and so if I'm seeing somebody who is hiking backpacking I'm a you know okay a backpack like cool I'll get inspired by that I'll come back to my I have a laptop and Mm -hmm. I have like a this app that I use and I can draw what I see and so yeah Really it's like cartoon version of yeah. what I see. Oh my but- goodness! I'm so, no, I'm, y'all, I, I'm just so proud. It's because we have, we've grown in our relationship, and to see where she where where she was Aww. and where she is now is just like I can almost cry right now. But <laughs> let me, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, let that be for another time. Wow. I'll get all emotional after I get off camera. <laughs> but but okay. So I'll I'll draw what I see, and yeah. then I can I'll. Uh, it's digital art, so I'll paint in mm. all that on the art. Then I'll print them out on vinyl sticker paper, which is a very sturdy sticker paper, mm. and um, cut them out for you guys. And everything that I do is handcrafted. So that is the pictures are made by hand, the stickers are made by hand. I cut them out by hand, wow. and I make the packaging by hand. You do all of that yourself. All of that, wow. and the branding and all that other stuff, like how it actually is packaged and sent off to whoever i do it all by hand myself and so long story short she does everything everything, out of love. <laughs> everything love. is done you know how people cook with love and bake with love she's doing everything <laughs> out of love so it's blood sweat and tears and of course mainly the the leader of the holy spirit because it's the spirit that gave her the inspiration the yes. spirit that gives her the power it's not by your might it's not by your strength but it's by the spirit of, by the, the, lord. Spirit of the lord so yes she's doing everything for herself fool. so please yeah. <laughs> So please support my sis now. But yeah, go ahead. I'm yes. sorry to interrupt. Mm. Oh, I wish I had my my uh, my packaging with me. I meant to get one, but um, she's trying to hold on. on. Why is she holding on? on this? I meant to. But um, yes. So that's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> so um, do you sell anything other than your stickers? Yes, mm. I do sell journals, and I have a journal called the Traveling Journal. And this is really like, yes, this (laughs) journal is so, it's so unique because first of all, it's pocket size, so you can carry it everywhere you go. That's why that's the traveling part Mm -hmm. of it. So whether you're, um, well, I'm, I encourage those who use it Mm -hmm. to, whether you're like in an airport or you're, you know, going to so-and-so's house, or maybe you're going to get coffee with someone, maybe Mm -hmm. journal down those little moments of how you feel or just something that inspires you in that time, in that moment. Mm -hmm. And I think like, I, I love it because in those good moments, even the bad moments, I can reflect and Mm -hmm. look at just the fun things and the even the crazy things that has happened to me but in in the journal it's it's like i said with taylor's voyage is mm-hmm. showing your voyage as well okay. so yeah 
um i'm pretty sure you use your own your your own journal so what can you share personally that you know uh, of how you use your journal yourself okay that you can share with us cool so how mm -hmm. i use my journal i um well there's one thing that i have been wanting to do for a long time mm -hmm. which is use polaroids and actually stick them onto my journal but i personalized my journal by adding my own stickers mm -hmm. and just writing down like well there was one time where i actually went to noah's ark which is a zoo mm -hmm. and a zoo here yeah it's a zoo here it's a well, it was not even a zoo i'm so sorry i went to noah's ark which is an animal sanctuary and mm -hmm. it's like a rehabilitation center for I think animals I yeah, it's really you nice. don't have to tell. Yeah, later, but, yeah, later. You gonna have to tell me about that because that sounds nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so like I can, I can go there and I can journal. And so one journal entry was just talking about like just reflecting on just the new season that God has got me in. Mm -hmm. And I had like this cute little sticker with an acorn on it, and mm -hmm. I just sticked it, stick oh, it right on there. Cute. It was super cute because like I was outside and I journaled while I was outside. And yes, so yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, quick question. What um what are Polaroids for those that aren't familiar? With okay, so Polaroids are basically like pictures like mm -hmm. you would take with the Polaroid camera. It's that vintage looking picture where it's like <laughs> you <laughs> take it right then and there, and mm -hmm. then it has the film, and you can like okay, it okay, out. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and you can like write stuff on there, and I okay. kind of want to stick that on my journals. That sounds yeah. nice. Um. <laughs> If y'all haven't noticed already, these journals are very nice. Y'all need to go ahead and get one. Yes. I'm gonna collect. I'm I'm going to collect one myself because I, <laughs> I you know what's funny? I never used to journal or anything like that before. As a matter of fact, no, I like. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like because huh? I just remember the Holy Spirit just corrected me. I when I was younger, probably like elementary school. Yeah. I did have I did have a journal for myself, but ever since I okay when I used it. Um, you know, you can put your little personal stuff in there. For me, I was trying to be all, I was trying to be all grown. Uh, and talk about, talk about my little boyfriend that I had then. The little diary. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, the little diary. Talk about my little boyfriend that I had then. And I got caught, honey, my oh, mom. That's my journal and read it. And I got in trouble and everything. She was to my dad. So from then on, I was like, yeah, journals, oh, diary. Whole setup. I'm not doing it. <laughs> and from then, and from then all the way up until I'll probably say college. Mm. I didn't. I, journaling no I didn't write at all and it literally I started back once um once I once I started my own personal relationship with God I just started it was like a way that I was able to get gain some time of intimacy with God yeah. so that's how I really started journey, journeying again and I started to love it so yeah, yeah I'm definitely gonna get one of those oh yeah <laughs> yeah because um and they're very cheap and affordable like mm -hmm. they're affordable but they're very um sturdy and you can personalize them however you like. You can add your own. I, it comes with like a, um, just like a starter sticker where you can actually draw and write on it, mm -hmm. and you can stick it on top of your journal and like maybe write. I have mine says my journal. Like I wrote that on there and I stick them. Okay, so there's like an option. There's an option on your website to I guess. Oh, edit it's free.com it to like if you want to personalize it, mm -hmm. you can um just maybe add you can add stickers on top of it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so personalize it however you want like that. But mm -hmm. um they all just come pretty like uh regular regular. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, cool. So, what inspired you to give birth to Wild Collections? <laughs> ah, well, I know we touched on it a little bit, but mm -hmm. definitely it's my um, relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I've noticed that I hear from God mostly when I'm in nature. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I, well, I don't know how other people feel, but mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure like, like if you can just look at things like we were talking about like a tree or like a rock and just get inspired and just understanding how much how much more god loves us if he can provide for the animals and everything mm -hmm. i know that's in the bible yeah. I don't know what scripture that is. <laughs> but it's just like it's just inspiring i want people to know that and i remember last year covid happened mm -hmm. and people were stuck in the house <laughs> and we, we just felt confined and I just was like I'm not going to stay in my house I'm actually going to be going <laughs> no, no, no. I would let everybody know those that if you're watching if you're listening right now COVID had no negative effect on me. Okay. I had authority over COVID. Okay. okay. <laughs> listen, I walk around. Listen, it's only out of respect for people's businesses and people fake level while I wear a mask. But listen, <laughs> we have we have authority over that thing. Okay. I'm gonna let you know yeah. that now. Yes. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. Yes. I 
did not want to stay in my house i wanted to get out and actually do something mm -hmm. and so when i was outside well, like while i that's what inspired me to get out into nature because i just didn't want to stay confined to the four walls of my room mm -hmm. and while i was out i was also getting inspired to actually make um I, I was actually getting inspired to be more creative mm -hmm. and use my time while I'm still in the house or while even I, this is me actually um, also recently graduating from college so I wasn't employed then mm -hmm. and so I was like I would like to do something that's creative and fun but also um, also going to spread the word of the gospel mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> Um, and that's unique, and that can make me a little bit of gas money, you know? Yeah, man, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's what inspired Wild Collection, mm -hmm. for sure. And yeah, definitely was God giving me that inspiration, because okay. now I'm all in. <laughs> it's funny how it's funny how God will use certain situations to bring out to bring out the good, because there's a scripture in the Bible that says. What the enemy meant for bad, God would turn around for the good for those that love That's the Lord. That's so true. And you know, to everybody, to every, well, let me tell, and I say everybody, to most people, when COVID coming, I call it a demon because it's a whole demon. Okay. Demon COVID. That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. demon, when demon COVID, COVID came, um, for everyone, it was just like a, a huge negative thing because you know everybody's used to being able to go out, go yes. work, socialize, different stuff like that. But God said instead of it being that that type of negative vibe, I'm going to use it for something greater. Yeah. For those people that haven't been able to get quiet time for you to hear me, I'm going to use this time for you so to hear good. me. You so get what I'm saying? Because one of the, one of the, um, one of the things that I really uh, stress with Mount Zion Ministry is to, for us to know that every single one of us have gifts, we have talents, talents yes. we have um, ministry, we yes. have every different thing on the inside of us. And it takes... It literally only God can birth those things out. Yes. And so it's one of the things I've noticed is that God has used that God has used that season or this season of everything that's going on mm -hmm. to birth those things out of a lot of people. Yes. So that's one of the things I'm so grateful that He's done in you and even in myself because mm -hmm. I've noticed that even for myself, um, you know, God God Ben gave me, you know, my Zion ministry, but I can honestly say it is it it was in this season that he really helped me to focus and hear him to really birth it out, you know, give oh, birth to it. Yeah, that's Likewise really with you and yeah. your you know wild collections yes mm -hmm. yeah because um some like at first i wasn't as on fire for god <laughs> as i was when COVID happened and mm -hmm. i got a chance to really sit and like like you said hear the voice of god mm -hmm. and go outside actually not even sit in my room but actually got motivated to get the heck out of the house mm -hmm. and you know go outside and spend alone time with god mm -hmm. and i think that's just i i i encourage other people to like whatever your thing is do it mm -hmm. for sure like exactly. and if however you hear the voice if it's in the shower mm -hmm. if it's outside in nature maybe if it's just in that in your closet like in your um what do they call Me. it the war it's room the mo yes <laughs> do you know that movie that's yeah. my favorite movie I now love i love that movie oh my that goodness movie. it's so dope if you haven't watched it please go watch it <laughs> i kid you not if you didn't have a prayer life after watching that you Ooh. will have one i can I, I promise you it is such a wonderful movie I promise you, and it's very relatable because the type of things that happens are um this there was situation that um one of the women was experiencing is very um re relatable, like I said, yeah. and uh, a lot of people can take it personal because um what she was going through, a lot of people are experiencing. So if you haven't watched it, please watch it. It will definitely build your faith and it will definitely help your prayer life yeah. grow, and it will help you to even understand the importance of prayer, prayer. and ha and having your own time to do warfare prayers because there's different levels to prayer you can have your you can have your prayer where it's just you and god talking but there's a different type of com a type of prayer where you actually have to step into warfare confronting the enemy yeah because people don't realize that you have the power to confront the enemy yes. and you have to confront the enemy to, yes. in order for god's blessings in your life to begin to flow and in order for his purpose in your life to begin to manifest because whether you realize it or not, the devil does exist, and he does, and, and literally his plan every single day is to kill, steal, and destroy anything God has purpose for you.
Yeah. Okay, and it takes you rising up in the authority that Jesus has given you to come against those things that He would try to do to come against what God has in store yeah. for you. Okay, so yeah. yeah. So, what is another unique thing about your stickers? Okay, so another unique thing about my stickers is that they are very temporary stickers. Mm -hmm. So when I say temporary, I'm not talking about the quality of it because they stick to absolutely anything. Mm -hmm. Like I, I have put my sticker around like one of my plastic bottles that and they're waterproof. Mm -hmm. So like if I stick them around my bottles and they fit perfectly fine, any little dent in whatever mm -hmm. they can stick to that oh. but the yeah they can stick to like hello yeah, like, <laughs> so they so they mold they, they shape mold okay. to exactly what you want it to stick to which oh, is super nice. cool mm -hmm. um but the most what other unique thing about it is that they're temporary so what i mean by temporary is that they are seasonal stickers mm -hmm. so each as the seasons change the stickers are going there's going to be more but mm -hmm. as there's more and once they run out they run out for good so when oh. more comes in like yeah you'll be able to get you know get the first di dibs on those mm -hmm. but the other ones that run out they're sold out for good there is no more remaking them or restocking that it's mm -hmm. going to just sell out okay and, any specific reason for that um, it's just to encourage people to buy. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I just want to say, um, that means y'all need to go ahead and, buy, and purchase, buy. Because if you saying, if she's saying that, um, whatever she has at that moment, that's, on, that that's the it. only time that's going to be available, you need to go ahead and grab yours yeah. because that that's the only time it's going to be there. Yeah, because mm -hmm. also, um, it's, and also it leaves room for more creativity. Mm -hmm. It's not just to get you guys to buy the stickers, <laughs> but it, it leaves more room for more creativity so mm -hmm. I'm not just selling the same kind of stuff because I know people will want to see more and more. Yeah. And so as I make more and more and more different in different collections as the seasons change, mm -hmm. like that's then you like you'll be able to get your dibs on mm -hmm. that and it'll and I'll still be able to um, it'll motivate me even to be more creative. Yeah, because I was about to say, nature in itself is is, is very creative and yeah. just, there's no end to it. Yeah. Okay, so can you tell us about, or no, can you tell us step by step on how to purchase at your shop? Yes. So, all you gotta do is click on shop on my <laughs> website, taylorsvoyage.com. Taylorsvoyage.com. Okay, Taylor's you will Voyage. see. Oh, <laughs> see the wild collections and you'll see all the different stickers click on one mm -hmm. and then you'll see how how it's made which if you want to buy the whatever quality what quantity you want mm -hmm. three two four five six and then buy like ten buy like five i mean not five ten fifty, 50 hundred oh fifty uh, a thousand one thousand a million. Uh, no. one million one billion trillion <laughs> infinity and buy all of them okay um yeah but um yeah, so you can click on that and then you'll just uh, click to buy and mm -hmm. then it'll, you'll put in your information and you'll just buy it and you'll get a confirmation email mm -hmm. on that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so um, what are the different acceptable forms of payment? So I use Stripe, so um, I can use any... any Wait, you say you use what? A Stripe. Oh, so Stripe, Stripe is uh, basically... <laughs> well, Stripe is not like... It's not PayPal or anything. It's just mm -hmm. a form where I can... I guess it's like a... I don't know how to call it. A payment processing tool mm -hmm. so it's like you can basically when you pay you put in your card number like Amazon would mm -hmm. or any other um, like medium like for purchasing mm -hmm. so like Amazon or Etsy or whatever Walmart or whatever you do online mm -hmm. um, so what you do, you can put in your visa, whatever card number you have, whatever, mm -hmm. and then you just, it's regular shipping. Like, okay. I mean, it's regular, like, payment processing, but mm -hmm. yeah, you can use whatever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, y'all already heard, heard her. She told y'all how to, you know, step by step on how to go about shopping. Yeah. Um, the different form of payments. Wait, do you... No, I was about to mention. I was about to mention cash app and stuff. No, no. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. That's not. That's not. Because <laughs> you know, people will have these questions like cash app. I think what are the other forms? forms like like uh, PayPal, PayPal, yeah, um, stuff like that. Zelle, Zelle yeah, Venmo, so, yeah, all those yeah. You know, things, yeah. Those gadgets, you know. Yeah. I know I didn't add this earlier though. What? I can make personalized stickers. So if you do DM mm -hmm. the Wild Collections, follow us, follow me mm -hmm. at the Wild Collections on Instagram, and you can DM me 
for your own personalized sticker. Okay. And if you want to follow my voyage, you can follow me at Taylor's Voyage. Mm -hmm. But you can DM me on either one if you wanted a personalized sticker, and, and I'll just uh, tell you how to do that. Okay. And, yeah. So um, with the personalized stickers, what, what we will have to have a picture. Like yeah, a if you want a picture, mm -hmm. if you have if you have any pictures, or if you um, cause. Honey, Ooh, child. If you have any pictures already set, you can definitely like DM me about like with the picture. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you want me to draw something, <laughs> it's gonna be a little extra. <laughs> but oh uh, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> so y'all know y'all already heard her. Well, y'all have to do if y'all want something personal. Um, if what I, uh, what I would probably advise is that as far as the um, drawing part. You already know it's gonna be extra if y'all okay. if if she if y'all have her to draw it. So if you can't if you know someone that draws or you draw yourself, you could probably draw it yourself and you know give it to her. I don't know if that's okay if that will help. And yeah. That will, that will help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you could <laughs> um you if you know anybody that draws or you draw yourself because you know for me I draw myself so okay. I could I could probably you know whip up something real quick like hey you know, you know can you make this person yeah. a thing for me you know but yeah, yeah so y'all could probably do that make it easier for not but yeah. for her but if not you know like she like she said she can do it herself too but it's just gonna try, um yeah. cost a little bit more yeah like if you have a brand and you already have the logo mm -hmm. I can definitely print that out for you I've also created a sticker that has has, um that's waterproof with um the oh yeah like girl, hey, she it's waterproof y'all stop <laughs> playing with my sins <laughs> yeah so it's like it's laminated so like you can actually stick this on like the back of your car mm -hmm. or whatever the case <laughs> oh, okay God. yeah it's laminated it's <laughs> laminated so you can stick it on the back of your car mm -hmm. so yeah it's cool so do you offer any um shipping in other states yes i do offer shipping in other states so basically you if you guys live in cincinnati i've mm -hmm. shipped there i've sh i've shipped to um chicago florida all that so yeah okay so you've included. already had purchases in, uh, in yeah other in other states okay sure. cool yeah. see my sister official y'all y'all better stop sleeping on her get your Wake collection up. get your collection order and it doesn't even matter what state you're in she just said it you could be in florida okay you can be in new york okay you can be in cali okay. you can get a sticky <laughs> So okay, yeah, so it don't matter where you are, you can get her stickers, okay? Yeah. So order, order, order. All right, so last but not least, we're gonna ask sis, is there anything else you would like to share with us or any advice that you would have for me, for them, you know? Okay, well my advice is whatever you do, mm -hmm. okay, whatever idea that you do have to do, like whatever creative idea you do have to do, or something for a business or something for um maybe a ministry, mm -hmm. um, whatever it looks like, I say please do not quit before you try. Mm -hmm. Don't quit before you mm -hmm. start. Because I wanted to so many times. Even with different <laughs> projects that I've had, so I wanted to quit so bad. I was like, I remember buying all the stuff for Wild Collections, right? And mm -hmm. then I brought it home, and then I looked at the stuff, and I was like, <laughs> I texted my mom, and I was like, yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not your portion. That's nothing but the enemy. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna do this anymore. This is not gonna work. And my mom was like, You didn't even start at all. <laughs> like, like you what? What'd you try. do? Did you get overwhelmed? Like, yes. Mm. I was just like, I don't even see how people would even support this. I don't mm. see how people would even buy it. But it's like that is definitely the enemy mm. trying to like discourage you from. Mm -hmm what could really be super successful. Mm -hmm. So please don't quit before you try. Do it. Do, feel the fear, You all this fear that you be feeling. Feel it, but do it anyway and conquer that thing. Because mm -hmm. God does not give us a spirit of fear, Come on, but of power and of Come love on, and of a right. sound mind. Exactly. Okay? So you so, get rid of that mess with yeah. the quickness. Okay? okay? <laughs> because, yeah, don't be intimidated. Don't let the spirit of intimidation get to you. Mm -hmm. um, and also... Be, um, whatever you have, like, make sure you're being uniquely yourself and just authentically you because sometimes we can look and compare <laughs> ourselves to other people. But I tell you, you hit every point. <laughs> okay. You hit every point. Okay. Like, yeah. we, we can definitely compare our ministry to somebody else's mm -hmm. who might be big, who might have this bigger ministry mm -hmm. or whatever, but you're reaching your people, mm -hmm. the people that God has given you. So, and it doesn't matter if you're reaching one person or if you're 
uh, reaching a million but as long as you're doing the will of god that's all that matters mm. so don't compare yourself to someone else because you are literally like god made you in his image and in his likeness mm. and we're we're all super unique mm. and that and it's for a purpose so mm. comparis comparing ourselves is not even it's not even an option to do because it doesn't make sense <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> repeat that part again for, comparing for them, yourself please. is not an option okay <laughs> One more, one it's more time. Not an option. Zero is not on the list. You cannot choose it. You know how with questions you have A, B, C, or D. It's not on there. Okay, <laughs> it is not on there. It is not an option. Please, I'm so glad you said that because that's one of the main, one of the major devices that the enemy uses to try to stop us from doing what God calls. Yeah. Comparison. Please let us stop comparing ourselves with each other. Yeah. If anything, if you want to, if you if. You want to look at another person's gifts or success. If anything, use it for inspiration. Yeah. Use it to encourage you. Yeah. But don't allow. Don't use it to condemn your own yes. self or compare yourself. Please, now, please, no, because yeah. we. As a matter of fact, be excited when you see those different things because really and truly, we're all one body. That is so. Good. Another person's success in the body of Christ is your own success. Amen. Your success is another person's success in the body of Christ. Yeah. We're all one. There's no need for comparison. There's no need to envy. There's no need to be jealous. No, all, we bind the spirit of jealousy. We bind all those things. Those things are not of God. There's no need of that. That's those are only tactics that the enemy used to stop to stop you from doing what God has God has called you to do. And I like what you and I like what the Holy Spirit usually just say earlier as far as knowing that um you have your own ne- uniqueness and yeah. that and that also that um what you say Holy Spirit and that you're each per each one of us are able to reach our yes. own yeah. individuals. You yeah. know it and we can't me I can't reach everybody that she can reach. Yeah. She can't reach everybody that I can reach. So yeah. it's important for each and every one of us to walk out the calling or the purposes that God has in store for us. Everything that God has on the inside of us is it's important for us to give birth to those things because whatever what whatever we have or whatever it is that God has established for us to um fulfill or for us to give birth to it's meant for a whole nother body of people that yeah. another person cannot reach. That's really so good. that's why it's important for you to push and give birth to whatever thing that is that God has on the inside of you for you to give yeah. birth to. Do yeah. not get discouraged. Be be bold. Be confident. Yeah. And know that know that yes, the attacks will come, but you have you are you already have the victory. You just have to know who you are and know what type of authority God has given you yeah. over the attacks of the enemy. Know who you are, please, and allow what everything the Holy Spirit has used my sister to tell you to encourage you, y'all. I kid you not. And then one of the advices that I want to give myself is that um, just be consistent. I think I was talking talking to you about that earlier. Like, um, well, I, don't, I don't know if it was you or if it was oh. another brother and sister, Christ, but oh. I I remember talking to somebody about it. I don't remember. I don't remember who it was, but the um, uh, one of the keys is consistency. Just be consistent with with whatever it is that God yeah. told you to. You know, um, sometimes we we could get caught up in like the the big picture of whatever it is that we're doing. We're like, yeah. oh, we could do this and we could do that. Which don't get me wrong, um, God does have a larger expand uh, or a larger uh. I guess a success with whatever it is that you have going on, but don't get so caught up in a big thing where it overwhelms you. Like how you were saying that yeah. you bought all the stuff, yeah. And once you looked at it, it was like, was like oh my god, like I you got quit over- <laughs> yeah. Before, I even start. before you even start, so yeah. just like. Take one step at a time and be consistent with those with those small yes. steps. As you continue to just walk in consistency, you will begin to see it grow and yeah. build and grow and build. And then before you know it, your whatever it is that God is using you to do, it has exploded before yeah. your eyes. You know. Yeah. So be encouraged. And um, yeah. again, like I said, like I said before, um, receive, allow everything that my that my, the Holy Spirit has used my sister yeah. to speak to you to encourage you oh, and support her. Please. Thank you. Please. Please. Yeah. Please say please. Well, I have one more last thing, though. Oh, yeah, um, go ahead. I used to call myself a misfit. I call myself Miss Misfits. Miss Misfits. That was my Instagram name. You know, I'm wondering what, wonder what right? that meant. Please, yeah. Help them so, and me understand what that means. It was, um, it's, M S F T S. That's how you spell it. So there's no eyes, right? Mm. And the reason why I was like, because I don't fit in, 
And so wow. it's like, I don't fit into this world. I fit into the kingdom of God. Come so it's on. like, you're not meant to fit in. Mm -hmm. You're meant to be unique. You're meant to be different. Mm -hmm. And I know we can try to, we can compare ourselves. Like I was saying, mm -hmm. we can compare ourselves because we're like, well, dang, like I need to be like this person. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you don't have to. You yeah. have to be yourself mm -hmm. because, you know, that's, um, that's what God loves. God loves every unique thing that he's placed inside of you mm -hmm. because he made you to be yourself. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, he made, he didn't make Trisha you, to be like Angel. Right, okay. like, it didn't make Angel to be like Trisha. <laughs> okay. okay. If that was the case, he would have made y'all one. Okay. Oh, and, yeah. and that wasn't the case. You okay. had two different two different people, yeah. two different unique, two, two different anointing gifts. Yeah. But what what's the greatest and most important thing is that it's all being done through the one Holy Spirit, the Spirit Amen. of God. That's what's important. Even twins are different. You know? Exactly. Completely different. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> it's no problem. I'm glad for you coming. Oh, God, thank you so much, sis. I love and y'all, it's been like forever since I seen this girl. I'm gonna beat her up after this. Uh, because no, I d I don't like going a long time without seeing my sister and uh, my brother. So it, it 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 does t it does something to me it does <laughs> but I have to be understanding because all of us have our own journey that we gotta walk yeah. so I understand there's gonna be seasons where we're all able to be all around each other but then there's seasons where you know you gotta do that separation and focus and get what God has in store for you you Amen. know together so um yeah thank you for yeah. coming thank you guys for thank watching you know you guys. um you already know I upload every Tuesday so I see you next Tuesday Mount Zion Yay. family um for everybody that that aren't a part of Mount Zion ministry if you're this is your first time subscribe. watching go ahead and subscribe <laughs> subscribe to my youtube channel okay share the video like it comment do have your way okay okay and, um <laughs> yes again look forward to another video i upload every tuesday and um is there any thing else you want to share um, with yeah. everything i have my instagram my mm -hmm. website taylorvoyage.com um and definitely uh to click that follow button mm -hmm. you can subscribe to my channel taylor's voyage and follow follow me uh follow the wild collections mm -hmm. at the wild collections and yeah and we're on google too so google us oh thank you okay. google I, to, I told you she's <laughs> official okay all right y'all so thank you so much for your time we love you Mwah. see you later bye <laughs> yes yeah, so god has definitely inspired me for sure you gonna ask another question <laughs> Right, I was supposed to be asking another question. <laughs> okay, so you gotta ask. <laughs> okay. So, sis, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so like, okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know you what to don't say. know um, about yourself. Oh, who am I? Hey, at this point, um, someone okay, help her. <laughs> someone help her. <laughs> Wild collections, buy some wild collections. Wild collections, buy some wild collections. Hey, this is the r r r r read me. You want to walk? <coughs> <coughs> you okay? You, know, you need help? Taylor, ah, usually I'm the one interviewing you. No, it's the other way around. <laughs> <laughs>